Guys, today's video is sponsored by Infinex, the best deal on TV. If you're tired of paying a large bill for your cable service, Infinex has got you covered with over 1,000 channels on demand, over 6,000 movies and updated weekly, 17,000 TV shows and updated weekly. All of your local networks will be included and all pay-per-view fights are available with this service as well. You can try it absolutely free, no credit card required for three days. All you need to do is sign up with your email and you'll be able to enjoy the service for three days absolutely free it is compatible with amazon fire stick roku tv any android or ios device so check them out infinex links will be in the description down below hey what is up guys i do by yourself here welcome back to the channel yesterday apple released ios 13.6.1 to everyone to download worldwide and now i highly recommend that you update to this software in this video i want to share five reasons why you should definitely consider updating to iOS 13.6.1. There's quite a bit of improvement, and I'm going to share those with you guys in this video, of course. So let's head on over here to general and share the latest bill number for iOS 13.6.1. That's going to be 17G80. That's going to be the latest bill number for iOS 13.6.1. Now, this could very well be the last update to iOS 13 before Apple releases iOS 14 in about a month and a half or so. But you're going to want to update to this software because it brings quite a bit of improvements and you don't want to go a month and a half or two without these software updates that could be impacting you. So this software came in at approximately 100 megabytes or so if you're running iOS 13.6 and you update to 13.6.1, you can expect 100 megabytes or so. So the first thing that Apple is definitely addressing with this software is the iPhone storage system storage issues. Now, many users were reporting issues with their system storage files, taking up most of the storage on your iPhone. And in some cases, some users couldn't even capture video or photos because the iPhone would tell you that the storage was filled because the system storage was a large a size, right? And it wasn't really something on your iPhone, it was just a bug within the software that would tell the iPhone, hey, the system is filled. You can't no longer use uh, pictures or videos, but in reality, it was a bug. Nothing was really taking up the storage, and Apple has definitely addressed that with the software. You can see there, system storage is now a small size, not really taking up all that space uh, on your iPhone. So big update there, important update for many users who are reporting that issue. Of course, you want to update because of that. The next reason is because Apple is also addressing uh, bugs within Apple Music. I encounter this one myself, where the music Music will freeze uh, the music application would actually crash and also Bluetooth issues were also addressed because sometimes Bluetooth wouldn't sync properly especially with third-party speakers so Bluetooth issues were also addressed alongside Apple music crashing and issues with the music itself with iOS 13.6 now one of the big issues that Apple is also looking to address with this software is uh, a greenish tint that some users would see on their display especially on OLED display iPhone so if we go here Let's go to accessibility here and give you sort of some reference here what I'm talking about. So if I enable a filter here, for example, let's go ahead into the filters. You see that greenish tint. Some users were experiencing this issue with their iPhones where it would display sort of a greenish tint on the display itself. Of course, this is a filter. I'm just doing this to show you what it would look like. And some users were encountering this issue. So this is something that Apple is also addressing with this software. But again, that was mostly for OLED display iPhones and Apple is looking to address that as well. And last but not least, of course, Apple is also looking to address some issues with the COVID-19 exposure notification setting systems here under the privacy. So let's go to privacy here. And if we go to health here, we have the COVID-19 exposure notifications. For some users, this will show that you couldn't use it at all because it wasn't available in your region, even if you're in a region where it did support the uh, exposure notification system built into iOS 13. Uh, Apple has definitely addressed that. But there you guys have it. Those are five or more reasons uh, why you should consider updating to this software. It's a very important software update so thank you for watching i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you real soon peace